Hey everybody. So as we all know, Breonna Taylor was tragically murdered by the police in Louisville, Kentucky back in March. And even to this day, there still hasn't been any justice for her. The police officers that murdered her still hasn't been convicted. Many celebrities voiced their opinions and, you know, standing behind the officers need to be convicted as well as Beyonce. And she went as far as to send a letter. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna read um, Beyonce's letter to you all. So it says, Dear Attorney General Cameron, it has now been over three months since members of the Louisville Metro Police Department killed Breonna Taylor. Plain clothes officers with a no-knock warrant forced their way into her apartment where she was asleep and unarmed. Moments later, the officers fired over 20 shots into Breonna Taylor's home, striking her at least eight times. While Breonna's law passed in Louisville and federal legislation has been introduced, that will also ban no-knock warrants. These small steps in the right direction are painful reminders that there has still been no justice for Breonna Taylor or her family. Three months have passed and the LMPD's investigation have created more questions than answers. Their incident report states that Ms. Taylor suffered no injuries, yet we know she was shot at least eight times. The LMPD officers claim they announced themselves before forcing their way into Ms. Taylor's apartment, but her boyfriend, who was with her as well as several neighbors, all say that this is untrue. Three months have passed and zero arrests have been made and no officers have been fired. The LMPD's investigation was turned over to your office and yet all of the officers involved in the shooting remain employed by the LMPD. Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly and officers Miles Cosgrove and Brett Hankison must be held account accountable for their actions. Three months have passed and Breonna Taylor's family still waits for tr justice. Miss Taylor's family has not been able to take time to process and grieve. Instead, they have been working tirelessly to rally the support of friends, their community, and the country to obtain justice for Breonna. Your office has both the power and the responsibility to bring justice to Breonna Taylor and demonstrate the value of a black woman's life. I urge you to use that power and, and um, she has uh, one, two, three. So one, bring criminal charges against Jonathan Mattingly, Miles Cosgrove, and Brett Hankinson. Two, commit to transparency in the investigation and prosecution of these officers' criminal conduct. And three, investigate the LMPD's response to Breonna Taylor's murder, as well as the pervasive practices that result in the repeated deaths of unarmed black citizens. Don't let this case fall into the pattern of no action after a terrible tragedy. With every death of a black person at the hands of the police, there are two real tragedies, the death itself and the inaction and delays that follow it. This is your chance to end that pattern Take swift and decisive action in charging the officers. The next months cannot look like the last three. So you guys, this is the letter that Beyonce had wrote to Attorney General Daniel Cameron. So Attorney General Daniel Cameron actually responded, but he didn't specifically say that he responded to Beyonce in general, you know, specifically, but he responded and he was basically saying that he's not going to be, um, I guess the word is rushed to make a decision on whether the police officers need to be convicted or not. Let me read you what he had to say. So I got this article off of BET.com. So it says, Kentucky's Attorney General Daniel 
Cameron, has still not reached a decision on whether or not to charge the, the cops who shot Breonna Taylor, saying on Thursday that he would not bow to pressure like letters from Beyonce while trying to conduct his investigation. Quote, we are working around the clock to follow the law to the truth. Everyone involved in this case deserves nothing less. An investigation of this magnitude requires time and patience. However, I can assure you that at the end of our investigation, we will do what is right. We will find the truth. He also continued, it doesn't matter who sends me a piece of mail. It won't have any bearing on the case. Our responsibility is to the facts and the law. Um, as we go down, it says, quote, obviously there are sensitives to the case, to this case because of everything that's going on in this country. But at the end of the day, my responsibility is to make sure that we will get it right. Cameron said. So basically, you guys, even though the officers was at the wrong address, had no business being at this girl's house, did not knock, basically just knocked the door in, walked in, didn't announce themselves, and shot this innocent girl that had no criminal record, was an EMT, you know, shot this girl eight times, he feel as though it needs to be more of an investigation before they convict the officers. But mind you, they wasted no time making a law to make sure that it won't happen again. So my thing is this, what they're not about to sit here and do is treat this case as a uh, oops, my bad. Because that's how I feel like they're trying to treat this case as a oops, my bad. Like, my bad, we accidentally killed her. Um, we're gonna make a law to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Is that cool? Like, no, it's not cool. The officers still need to be charged. And my thing is this, if this was regular people that walked into the wrong house and shot an innocent person, they would be in jail right now. But because it's police officers that did it, then all of a sudden it needs to be no more investigation. No, it doesn't need to be more investigation. And the crazy part about this whole thing is they tried to charge Brianna's boyfriend because of the single shot thing saying that i guess like he either grazed one of the officers or shot one of the officers but then later on they dropped the charges so they could charge him with the blinkness even though it's their fault the reason why everything went down it wasn't supposed to be go down because they weren't supposed to be there but when it comes to his their officers being convicted then all of a sudden more investigation needs to happen what i really feel like these people are trying to do is just wait till everything die down wait till everybody forgets you know it's sad to say that i i mean i'm really hoping that brianna taylor gets justice because god knows she deserves it because that girl did not deserve to go the way that she did but at the end of the day when you have wicked people that can basically make decisions i mean it's, it's really nothing more you can do you know um i hope he does the right thing and convict the officers but we shall see you guys so um i want to know your thoughts down below when it comes to everything why do you guys feel like it's taken Attorney General Daniel Cameron so long to come to the decision to convict these police officers that wrongfully took Breonna Taylor's life. What do y'all think it is? Let me know down below in the comments. Peace.